cluster with politics and the Meru region has been described as the most distinct voting bloc in the traditional Mount Kenya region. But with only 15 months to the 2017 general election, the region has been embroiled in a bitter political duel as the leaders jostle for the over 1 million votes. On this week's Spotlight 2017, Murimi Mwangi explores the dynamics of the region likely to shape the 2017 politics, both at the grassroots and on national scale. Arguably the most distinct voting bloc in the larger Mount Kenya region, Meru, Tharakanithi and by extension Embu counties have in the past been the arena for sustained local political duels. Influenced by national politics, the region's economic mainstay, the Mira crop, has been the subject of bitter political outbursts and a cause for a protracted diplomatic row between Kenya and her former colonial master Britain. <laughs> But with barely 15 months to the 2017 elections, the Meru region has erupted yet again as political realignments emerge ahead of the polls. Sasa wakati tumepatana sisi zote tuko kitu kimoja. Sasa ndipo tunakuja sasa tena na porojo. Yeah? Mimi nilichaliwa na ODM lakini 2017 mimi naingia na jubili na watu wa Igembe Sentu wote. 2017 mimi nitaomba kura while most leaders have dismissed the Kiraitu Munya differences as a jostle for the lucrative Meru gubernatorial seat, the local Njurinjeke elders are not resting easy. While some political analysts argue that President Uhuru Kenyatta's handlers may have a cause for worry. As the standoff may cost the yet to be launched Jubilee Party, crucial county assembly, and possibly even parliamentary and gubernatorial seats during the 2017 general election, just like in 2013, where ODM grabbed away two parliamentary slots, as the rest of the Jubilee affiliated parties scrambled for the remaining seats. If there is no clear uh, democratic nomination system, then you'll have. Uh, the discontented or the, the defeated coming back and defeating uh, the, the dominant uh, party because they, are po they will be popular among the people. president If situations are that the Meru find it more convenient to go it alone without the, the larger Mount Kenya region then that's going to be the case. But the history of this relationship is, is such that uh, it doesn't work. Wewe kama ni mwanaume kamili, ama ni mama sawasawa, wewe lazima uamue kusimama na wakenya wenzako. Wewe bandale ya kuchunga kwako, moto inaendelea kuenea huko, kazi yako ni kuzunguka kwa wengine, Na ukibebana na psycho fans ambao wanaenda wakikuimbia kwa kila mkutano. In 2013, code leader Raila Odinga campaigned in Meru on a platform of addressing the plight of Mira farmers. Last week, while the code leader was in Meru for the devolution conference, President Uhuru Kenyatta hosted a section of Meru leaders at State House in Nairobi, where he also announced a 1 billion shillings fund to caution Mira farmers against market uncertainties. But analysts argue that the Mira standoff will still be a campaign issue in 2017, as most residents are yet to recover from the slump in the product exports three years on. I have not seen enough of the government as far as pushing for the, at the diplomatic level so that Mira can be sold in Tanzania, can be sold in Mozambique. We shall sit with you. With a view, kama hile tulifanya ya kahawa, within three weeks, hiyo task force, yeah, iende itupatie agenda and a way forward on this issue. The, the debate will revolve around the expansion, the harnessing of alternative markets. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, in Nairobi.